All right, so yesterday, uh, Dwayne Wade and Udonis Haslam opted out of their contracts earlier in the day, followed by Chris Bosh opting out of his contract later. Chris Bosh was owed, I think, $43 million, while Wade was owed 42 or 44 I think Bosh was owed 44 Bosh and LeBron James were getting paid the same money, while Wade was taking a little bit less, which makes no sense because Wade was more valuable than Bosh, so I don't even understand that. Uh, but... Uh, they both opted out of around $40 million, along with James earlier in the week, opting out of his $40 million guaranteed, along with Udonis Haslam opting out of $4 million guaranteed. I think just for this year, he opted out of the $4 million. And so that leaves only two players, uh, technically only one player under contract for the Heat, Norris Cole, and uh, Shabazz Napier will be under contract as soon as he signs his rookie deal. Uh, talks today uh, between James, Wade, and Bosch uh, are going on um, as I speak right now around 1. Uh, actually, a couple hours ago, they were going on um, at around 11 p.m. Eastern. Uh, the Heat, uh, were discuss the Big 3 were discussing terms of financial contracts and stuff like that. Uh, as of right now, the Heat have $55 million in cap room, including the $1 million hit they'll take from Napier. Uh, that's his rookie deal, getting drafted 24th overall, and that's $1 million. Uh, and or not? What am I talking about? Norris Cole's 1.5 million uh, contract that he's on. Uh, if they choose to trade him, um, obviously that would alleviate more cap space. Um, but also, it would mostly be it would most likely be to acquire Kyle Lowry, which is not a popular pick for, in my eyes, but uh, definitely something that they could go after. Um, just a little bit of um, an idea of an idea of how they how much little money they'd have to take to get Carmelo Anthony to uh, South Beach. Um, with Napier's one million, Wade and Bosch would each have to take around twelve, while James and Anthony would each have to take around sixteen. With Cole's one point five, Haslam, I would assume is going to sign for around one point five to two million, uh, a well deserved one point five to two million. Um, and it, it it shows some true character that he was willing to take a pay cut. He's not even part of the big three. He didn't need to opt out. Um, he, he's, he's not going to free up a giant cap space, but he's going to free it up enough that they can maybe sign one to two veterans or one to two rookies with um, some good athleticism. Also, I expect Ray Allen to come back for maybe one more year um, if the Heat, um, if the big three can finalize this deal and get it all together since he's still mulling over retirement. And I would think they'd pay him around $2.5 million to three. Uh, Chris Anderson... According to a website, he's getting paid like six million. I don't think that's accurate. I don't think the Heat would pay six million for Chris Anderson, um, but I think something around like one, one point five, two million for Chris Anderson is about all that I would pay for him. Seeing that you could also go on to free agency and find a low end or two like low end centers and play them about uh, twelve minutes each, uh, and alleviate a little bit of the pressure pressure from Bosch. Also, sign maybe a power forward and uh, alleviate some more. Uh, but if he had Carmelo Anthony, it wouldn't really matter because uh, Bosch would have to play center at that point. Uh, also, I would uh, re-sign Rashard Lewis for maybe around one million, one point five. He's obviously not going to get. He might get like three, four million um, from another team, but nothing too crazy. Um, but I, I would see him re-signing with the Heat for one point five around there. Uh, also, um, if that happened, it would be interesting to see who the starting point guard was, whether it be Cole or Napier, if they would go after Kyle Lowry. Um, it'd be interesting. They'd have to free up a lot of room uh, by trading Cole to them, and they'd have to free up some way. They'd probably have to not re-sign Ray Allen, and Haslam would have to take like $1 million instead of like 2 uh, Also, I think they'd have to go after a couple uh, rookies that they could sign to minimums around six hundred dollars um, Just a couple that came to mind were C.J. Fair and Aaron Kraft. Aaron Kraft would be a really nice addition uh, because if you had Wade, James, Bosch, and Anthony, you don't really need anyone who can score. Um, and Aaron Kraft is a world-class defender, uh, and so he would alleviate a lot of the pressure. He could guard, I think, maybe not this year, but maybe in the next one to two years, uh, he could be able to guard, um, at least alleviate some of the pressure from James to have to guard uh, the, the Russell Westbrooks and the Chris Pauls and all them. Um, he could definitely at least lock him down for a good five to ten minutes. Uh, Norris Cole, if you had him, he could lock him down for another five to ten minutes. And then um, 
you know, LeBron could help Napier out uh, because I would like to see Napier as the starter. Um, just a mock-up of who I would like to see them uh, sign and kind of a starter's look. Uh, the starting point guard, I'd like to see it be Napier. Uh, the shooting guard, I'd like to see him go out and sign Isaiah Thomas. Even though Isaiah Thomas is a point guard, I'd love to see him sign him and play a two-point guard role. You'll see where I'm going to put Wade. Um, and then LeBron and Bosch, obviously shooting forward, or small forward and power forward. And then center, uh, either go out and sign Spencer Hawes or uh, Jermaine O'Neal. You could probably get them for relatively cheap, not too cheap, but you could get them for a good bargain price. Um, and if you don't go after Anthony, you would have that money to spend on uh, Hawes, O'Neal, or one of those two, and then Isaiah Thomas. Uh, maybe get Isaiah Thomas for around six to seven mil, and Spencer Hawes and Jermaine O'Neal somewhere between two to four. Um, I did the math. It, it works out kind of. Um, I would play Wade as the sixth man. What this would do, I'd play him as the sixth man through the first 82 games of the regular season and uh, the first and maybe second round of the playoffs um, and then uh, move him to the starting lineup, maybe move Isaiah Thomas to point guard and Napier to sixth man um, just to keep Wade healthy. Um, he needs to get his knees operated on and just miss half the season. I think that would make LeBron happier than having him in and out of the lineup every night. Uh, so I, I would like that. Um, backups, I would like to see them, you know, keep Cole as the backup point guard. They would have Ray Allen as the backup shooting guard, really, because it'd be kind of a three-point guard rotation. It'd be a five-guard rotation, um, and you would see Wade still get 30 minutes, 28, 27 minutes, um, which would be real good while Isaiah Thomas and Napier, you know, would get 24, 25 each, 26, and then Cole and Allen could get 15, 12, 15. I know that math doesn't work out right in my head. Um, but you could get you could give you could jumble that around and get guys around that much time um, Small forward. I would like to see them keep James Jones or go out and sign a guy like Karan Butler um, When someone comes in for LeBron obviously not coming in for too long um, So or just gonna come in and uh, sub in for a, either shooting guard or maybe power forward Obviously Karan Butler might not be able to do that You probably move LeBron down if Karan Butler and LeBron were gonna play at the same time along with James Jones uh, so that that's just an idea right there. Uh, Karan Butler is a good uh, three-point shooter, and he's better off the like off uh, the dribble than James Jones is. But he's probably going to cost you more. James Jones would probably like to stay in Miami, so uh, that'll be interesting. Also, power forward, the re-sign of Haslam, you'd have him there. Also, maybe the re-sign of Rashard Lewis, um, and then um, uh, Birdman Anderson, uh, you'd have him backing up either Spencer Hawes or Jermaine or Neal. Um, I don't really like Spencer Haas or Jermaine O'Neal as center, but the Heat don't have a lot of money to spend, so there's not a whole lot of great centers they could get. Honestly, as much as I love Shabazz Napier, um, they really should have drafted a center, <laughs> honestly, because Bosch isn't really the greatest center. Um, he's really out, uh, oversized by a lot of people, strength and not really height, but he is height with some people, and uh, so it makes it kind of hard on him. Um, just some other guys that they could go out and explore in free agency. Obviously, Carmelo Anthony. Uh, all of them would have to take pay cuts, but it'll be interesting to see um, once LeBron, Wade, and Bosh all sign their contracts. I assume it's going to get done next week. Um, and if Bosh chooses to go elsewhere, obviously Carmelo would go to South Beach um, because they'd have the cap space to probably sign him. Wade would have to take a lot less, I think. It'll, see, it'll be interesting to see how much LeBron takes because LeBron wants max money. But if he wants max money, that makes it hard on the Heat to make a good team. And he wants a good team and max money. So it'll be interesting to see how all that goes down. Also, another couple players, uh, Martian Gortat, uh, center. He's on the Wizards now. I'm guessing he's going to get re-signed there. Uh, Kyle Lowry, I don't think he'll be back in Toronto, but I don't like him on the Heat. I don't really like him on the Heat, but we'll see about that. Uh, Luol Deng. Um, he, he wasn't the same player in Cleveland. We'll see how much money is offered. He could be an interesting player for the Heat. Um, if they want to play uh, small ball, that would move LeBron to play power forward, and that would let Luol Deng play small forward or vice versa. But it'll be interesting. Um, nonetheless, let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, let me know um, what you guys think. Obviously, I think the big three are staying uh, since they all opted out. Obviously, opted out to um, re-sign, taking less money so that they can make a better, better team. Or Bosch and Wade opted out so they could give LeBron more money. Um, we'll see how it all turns out next week. Hope you guys enjoyed. 
or maybe the week after. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your guys' thoughts, um, and I will catch you all in my next video. Uh, peace out, guys.